What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. It's me, the resident super villain, Mr. J. And I wanted to welcome you here to the special set of interviews, a part of the roundtable I was able to conduct with the cast of Black Lightning back in October on the set in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I put up a couple of interviews, those with Cress Williams and Marvin Cron Don Jones III. Well, these are the rest of the cast members. Now, here's the thing with these interviews. When we conducted these, it only shown up to episode three. Now that the season is over, I wanted to give you guys the rest of them so you could have it along with some of your Black Lightning fix. Now, I want you to see if the cast answers to a lot of the questions match up to what we saw throughout the season. Either way it goes, I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy, and check it out, and get lit, y'all. It's really cool. It's really cool to play the um, Black Bird because she's a lot different from who Thunder is. Um, she's darker, which is fun. She doesn't have it all together, and she doesn't always do the right thing the way Thunder does, but she does it her way because she thinks it's the right way, and she thinks it's what Freeland needs right now. So it's fun being a little bad. Um, it's fun going opposite of what Jefferson thinks is right for me. Um, I think what we see most with Anissa this season as she's coming to her own even more from season two and she's really you know seeing herself as an adult and realizing that she runs her life um, she appreciates what she's learned from her father but also she feels like what she's doing is the best thing the best way I know that there's a lot more action that you're doing this season. How much fun has it been to do, especially this season, with the action? It's been really, really fun. I tell people all the time that doing stunts is like a dance, and I grew up like as a dancer, a cheerleader, so it's, that's all stunts is. It's a choreography. It's a one, two, eight count. And um, it's really good for the body. I feel like it keeps me youthful. It keeps me excited. I don't come and just learn lines and just, you know, do what most people come to work and do as an actor. I have, I have a lot of fun. I'm jumping around. I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I'm dancing, in a sense, and it's really fun. Let's talk about Thunder Grace. Hey. Everybody is shifting, and now it's happening. How does, how does Anissa feel now going forward, knowing about Grace, knowing everything, and even seeing how Grace handles emotion? when Anissa and her father got into it and it freaked Grace out and made a change. How does Anissa handle all this going forward? I think Anissa is really happy to have found someone who understands her. I think that's what the common interest is. Uh, with me first knowing who I was and her not knowing now that I know who she is, um, I feel like it's somebody who I can relate to, it's somebody who I understand, and I think when we get into relationships, we want to find that commonality that we have with other people, um, where we, we, we have things in common, and we can understand what each other is going through uh, when no one else can. I think that's what partnership is about, so she's really... Um, just happy that she can let her hair down. She hasn't told anyone really who she is other than her family. So to be able to open up and trust someone else and let them in on who she really is and understand them for who they are, I think it's a match. Going into that, um, fans are kind of freaking out because it felt very nonchalant that uh, Anissa just told Grace who she was. How Are we going to get to see Grace sort of react to Anissa's like, secret identity? Um, yeah, you will, because it's, it's, it's who she is at the core. It's, it's, it's literally what her everyday life is like. So if you're going to be with somebody, you know, they're going to see that, that side of you. Um, and she takes control and, and lets her know that she's got everything together as best as she thinks she does. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see some of that. Can you speak a little bit more about Anissa and Jennifer's relationship? Because it is growing, it's evolving. You know, now Anissa is a bit darker as Blackbird. Mm -hmm. um, she still has that heart for her sister. But Jennifer's also kind of going through her own things with the ASA and Agent Odell, and then also having um, being the most powerful, um, you know, Pierce of them all. Yeah. So can you talk about their relationship as the season continues, just a little bit more the dynamic between them? Yeah, I think we'll always maintain that sister uh, friendship relationship that we've created with us. I, it's one of my favorite parts of the show. I love it. It's authentic. We have so much fun working together. We go off book. We we just create our own little world, but it's very real to, to who we are in real life with each other. So that always works. But I think we're really... Um, well, I know we're living in our own kind of worlds, like everybody's doing their own thing and what they feel is right to do. And even secrets amongst each other. We, we're, we're, maybe I'm not telling her as much. I don't know what she's doing as much with the ASA or at all, even at first. Um, 
So that's an interesting dynamic where at once she felt like she could talk to her about so much and vice versa. But it's like we're all kind of doing our own thing and doing what we think is right for Freeland. Mm -hmm. So that's what's interesting to see when we all come back together or not. What do you think about, because obviously it's not the Thunder suit. what do you think about the Blackbird outfit? And what do you think about the similarities to uh, Sister Knight from Watchmen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny. I just watched Watchmen uh, Saturday, and I thought it was really, really, uh, really good. Um, I like the Blackbird costume. It's a lot easier to get into. It's a <laughs> lot easier to fight in. Thunder's costume is no joke, but I, I, I'll always, at the core, love the Thunder costume because of how um, it just looks really strong. And I feel like I have some superpower strength of my own when I put it on. But Blackbird... Um, it's been really cool. I just think she's badass, and I think um, the dark side of all of it is really, really cool. I love how we went from just, like, leggings to a hoodie to a more uh, defined costume for, for her uh, this season. And um, it's been really, really exciting, again, to just switch it up and play. You know, I'm now playing three characters on the show, so that's really fun that I never really get stuck or bored with one area. I get to, like, just jump around and play with all of them, which is fun. And I think, for me, I, it's been really fun playing Blackbird because of how bad she is. I don't want to always play the character who has it all together and do what everyone thinks is the right thing to do. Um, so, yeah, that's how I feel about Blackbird. I'm feeling her. I like how ruthless she is and how opposite she is from Thunder. What's been your favorite scene this season and your least favorite scene? Ooh. My favorite scene this season, well, clearly it's going to be one that you guys already watched. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. My favorite scene. That's tough. Again, a lot of my favorite scenes are, are with, with China. We just have that much fun together. So those sister moments are ones that I always look forward to. Um, I think the scene... That was really, really interesting and where Anissa was like, you know what, I'm really stepping into who I am and you're going to respect me with Jefferson is when he came in the house. What was it just this past episode? And we like had it out and it seemed really, really harsh. But again, that's Blackbird's way of viewing things and feeling like she's doing the right thing for her community. So that scene for me, those scenes where Jefferson and I butt heads, bump heads are always really, really uh just fun and I think for women it's empowering as well to just stand our ground and stand for what we believe in and stand up to anybody even if it's our parents if they don't feel like what we're doing is the right thing or agreeing and they don't have to but I love how strong and grounded uh, that scene was so now in season one um, Jefferson had that moment where he almost killed uh, Tobias um, and the argument was that like he would lose a part of his soul for like kind of going over to the dark side. Mm -hmm. Here, your character is embracing a darker kind of uh, set of behaviors. Yeah. Should we feel worried about Anissa's soul being at risk? It's a good question. Um, should we feel? You know, again, it's just the differences between the characters and, and, and she has a by any means is necessary kind of a vibe and it's, it's it's almost to her it's either kill or be killed it's like survival of the fittest these days here in Freeland so it's like I think our mentality is, is it's, it's either we do this or it's going to happen to us um, and I don't think she's soulless I think that she is just doing what needs to be done and sometimes that doesn't always look like the good thing or the right thing um, but I think for her survival, for her family's survival, for the survival of Freeland, Freeland is literally like falling apart. And it's, it's not, I mean, man, it's, 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 it's falling apart even more from season one. Mm -hmm. So, again, it's just about her doing what she feels is necessary for her community, for her family, for herself. Let's talk about Anissa's evolution and having her own place mm -hmm. now. She's that her place is fly. Right? Right? Yeah. 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 Oh my God. I want fly. that, that chandelier. <laughs> <with that lady. laughs> Alexa, is Shonda? Shonda. And kudos, that's, kudos to Salim and to our producers and our writers for just making sure that we stay black. I mean, yeah, let's that just, was the thing I noticed we, the most. 
We not gonna name her Alexa. We we know Shonda to be. Yeah, like it was a sister's <laughs> voice for real. I was like, okay. I thought it was up. such a dope twist. And what's funny is I just recently bought a house and I got an Alexa, so I understood like how to talk to Shonda and like how it works. Because had I had I not had an Alexa, I wouldn't have known what to do or how to talk to her, or how to control it. But the fact that her name is Shonda is so real to me, and I think that's us making sure that we stick to the authenticity of who we are as a show from season one and never forgetting um, who we're doing it for and why we're doing this show. Yeah. Um, the question I had to ask you was, um, there's a lot of, there's a a big, uh, you're pretty much Harriet Tubman. Yeah. And, <laughs> Which is and not, that they I know, I know. And not even, not only that, you are, it, Blackbird is literally a leader of, among everybody in Freeland. How does that yeah. feel to be pretty much a civil rights for a leader in Freeland? Man, it feels it feels like you mean for the character or for myself? Character and a little bit yourself. So. Yeah, um, I would say for me as an artist, I feel like I'm 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 hopefully I'm doing my duty, you know, as an activist here in in America through being an actress and shedding shedding light and making sure that we're we're doing scenes where we're paying homage to Harriet Tubman and we're doing scenes that are are showing our strength and in, in who we are, especially if we come together as a community. So I love that I get to play this character. Like I've always, you know, Harriet Tubman is our beloved. Like she's our real life superhero. So for, for us to, I can never say this enough for us to keep her name alive and make sure that we're telling these stories. It's really, really important. And I think for, for Blackbird being, being the Harriet Tubman, she truly feels like she's doing the right thing. And sometimes Harriet Tubman had to do things that probably wasn't so nice to get things done to make sure that the Underground Railroad was working properly. If it means knocking somebody out so we don't ruin <laughs> it for all of us, it's like, ah, I'm sorry, but... You know what I mean? She's she she keeps a tight ship and she makes sure that it's ran properly and that's what I respect about her. And I I, I, I still study her and learn as much as I can about who she is and, and try to incorporate that into the character because she was fearless and I think that's who Blackbird is. Um and I love it. I, I, I can't can't get enough of the Blackbird character, seriously. Uh, something I really love about Black Lightning and and Watchmen and shows like that is that you guys really uh, touch base on historical events and figures that a lot of times aren't taught in school. Um, what I wanted to know is, are there like are they giving you kind of history lessons behind it, or is that something you have to take upon yourself to go and research? Yourself? You, you know, um, we will hope that we've learned most of this stuff. And Harriet Tubman was one that I knew a lot about. Yeah. And, and, and I think it's your job as an actor to what you don't feel like you know. You got to go out and do that research on your own and study it as much as possible. Um, so that comes with the character work of who the character is and laying that foundation and creating the world. Who, who, who's your character's inspiration? So that's the actor's work, I believe. At least that's how I approach all of my characters. Mm -hmm. Um, by just doing intense research, research. Although I've been on this show for three years now, like there's still research. There's still a word that I may not be familiar with or someone uh, from history that we didn't learn a lot about that is my job to go and, and learn as much as I possibly can about it. Yeah. What was it like working with uh, Bill Duke? Christine told us a funny story about how the end of season one, when he just shows up in the house, that was kind of the first real scene with him and how... You had a different reaction? What was your reaction working with him for the first time? I'm in awe that we have Bill Duke on our show. I'm in awe of of his performance and, and how grounded he is as an actor and just the blessing that we can have him here with us adding to the show and he's so good at being mean and bad but he, but he doesn't push and I think as an actor I just sit and I don't know if he's aware of how much I'm like literally staring at him I'm like Fisa you gotta snap out of it you gotta read your lines because I'm so into just how grounded and how wise he is when it comes to acting and I think we all can learn so much from him but I'm, I'm like every time I see him I'm like bowing down Mr. Duke Mr. Duke um but he's so good at playing these characters and what he brings to our show. I'm just, again, like super happy that we can have him add the Odell character to all that we're doing. Last question. Can I ask you, um, yes. how has the response from the LGBTQ community been to your character? Because you're one of few. Mm -hmm. I feel like Aisha Hens on 911 is like the only black lesbian I know on TV. 
Wow. So, yeah, next to your character. You're the first black female. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. Yeah, but just in general, just across the genres, it's like there's not that many. Yeah. Um, and so what responsibility do you feel that you have as an actress to portray what does it mean to be black and queer on TV? Well, first I'll say that the response has just been overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You know, like you could imagine, you know, black lesbians not seeing themselves in a positive light on TV, what, what that feels like to them. So that's been amazing. Um, I've heard that they feel normal after seeing Thunder, mm -hmm. especially because we've never... We've never made it an issue with her being a lesbian. There was no real conflict with her being a lesbian or a coming out episode that the family had to come to grips with and accept who she was. It was just we were open and, and confident with, with her as a character and she knew who she was and she was that unapologetically. So that's amazing. I think for me, being a part of this show, other than breaking so many other barriers with being the first black superhero family I think being a lesbian and knowing that I'm being an inspiration for for young lesbians and not just black all lesbians who watch our show um and second part of the question was my responsibility I think the responsibility is to just tell the truth of 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 love and, and let that be the foundation a lot of people ask did I feel pressure to, to do this character justice? And again, as long as I create the backstories and, and let the foundation of love carry me, I feel like I'd be okay. I never really took it on as, as different from any other characters. Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure I did my work, understanding who she was, and, and, and played her strongly and confidently, then they would be inspired, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you guys so much.